I'm going to quickly show you how to use construction lines and snaps in the long section view in Site 3D. So the first thing I want to do is show the long section of this road here. So road and long section tools, select the road and it'll bring it up. If I make that one a bit bigger so it's easy to see. So the road has a, an initial leveling from the start ground level to the end ground level over here and you've got a straight grade between them. So what I want to do here is I actually want to drop this road by 300 mil in the middle but I also want a 1 in 40 grade coming down this way and a 1 in 80 grade coming down here. So the way we can do uh, this in Site 3D is to use the two point construction tools. So two point and I can then you also turn on the snaps as well in the long section view and right click and enter gradient. So I've got a, an option to type in a gradient or a percentage and I'm going to type in one in minus 40 because I want it to go downwards. Okay and you can see it's now putting a one in 40 line through the mouse position. So I want to find where I want to put that one so I'm going to use the snaps and position it right at the very start. We do that one it's now put a blue construction line on there. So I want to do another one over here, but one in 80. So what I can do this time is I can actually do it a slightly different way if I wanted to and pick the uh, position it wants to go through first. And you can see it's then uh, allowing me to do a uh, just a general right line through the, uh, the mouse point here, which we can use in the snaps to help us with. Or I can right click again and hit enter gradient. And this time I actually want this as one in 80, but I also want it positive because it's going to be going upwards at the end or downwards, backwards kind of a thing. So it's going to be uh, going this way. Okay. So there we have our 1 in 40 and our 1 in 80 grade. So now, if I turn off the snaps, I want to drop this line here. So the line we already have, I want to drop it down by 300 mil. So we use the offset construction line tool for that. So now I can pick lines on the drawing and I can say this one wants to be dropped down. But you'll notice it's also got a 1 meter down here. So if I type in 0.3 here and then select the line. And then as I move my mouse around, you'll see it's choosing either side of that line. So I want to have it on the lower side and just click once and it's done. So now we have all the construction lines we need. I can turn them off and I can use the snap to intersection tool here. So now I want to insert a vertical IP at these two positions. So uh, yeah, insert point and select that line and drop it in and use the snap to position it at the intersection of those two construction lines I've already done. And a similar one over here, so one over here, drop it down and click again, and it's in. So now if I come out of the toolbar, all of the construction uh, lines will disappear, so we can see what we ha now have. I can always go back into the toolbar if I wanted to by clicking the, uh, the toolbar button on the side. And now we have our 1 in 40, our existing grade of whatever it was before up here, uh, but it's now lowered by uh, 300 mil, and our 1 in 80 grade going back up to the original end level. So that's how we can use the construction lines and snaps in the long section view to help us construct um, interesting vertical alignments. Thank you.